Did you know the legendary F-14 Tomcat retired by the U.S. Navy still flies combat missions today, but not for America? This iconic jet, immortalized by Top Gun, remains a symbol of air superiority decades after its 2006 retirement. Designed during the Cold War to intercept Soviet bombers, the F-14 combined blistering speed over Mach 2.4, unmatched range, and a revolutionary variable sweep wing system that allowed it to dominate both long-range engagements and dogfights. At its core, the Tomcat's lethality stemmed from its Hughes AWG-9 radar and AIM-54 Phoenix missiles, enabling it to track 24 targets simultaneously and strike threats over 100 miles away, a capability unmatched in its era. Its wings could sweep forward for takeoffs and low-speed maneuvers or tuck back for supersonic dashes, making it adaptable to any combat scenario. Though built for air-to-air -air combat, later upgrades like the Lantern targeting pod transformed it into a precision bomber, excelling in roles from Desert Storm to the Iraq War. Why retire such a versatile machine? By the 2000s, maintaining the F-14's complex systems grew prohibitively expensive. The Navy prioritized the cheaper, multi-role F-A-18 Super Hornet, which emphasized ground attack, a shift in strategy post-Cold War. Heartbreakingly, most retired Tomcats were shredded to prevent their parts from reaching Iran, the only other operator of the jet. Iran's F-14s, purchased before the 1979 revolution, remain operational today. Despite sanctions and aging airframes, they've flown missions in Syria, proving the Tomcat's enduring relevance. Iranian pilots, like Colonel Jalil Zandi, achieved legendary status with 11 aerial kills during the Iran-Iraq War. Could the Tomcat have evolved? Proposals like the Super Tomcat 21 promised advanced ASA radars, super cruise capability, Mach 1.2 without afterburners, and thrust vectoring engines. Yet the Navy opted for the Super Hornet's lower costs and modern avionics, sealing the F-14's fate. The F-14's legacy endures not just in museums or films, but in lessons learned. Its retirement left a gap in fleet defense, a role the Super Hornet struggles to fill as effectively. Meanwhile, engineers still study its design for insights into balancing speed, agility, and firepower. For all its flaws, high maintenance, cramped cockpit, the Tomcat's charisma remains unmatched. Pilots praised its raw power, while adversaries feared its Phoenix missiles. Even shredded hulls in Arizona's boneyards can't erase its legend. So, is the F-14 truly retired? For the US, yes. But in Iran's skies and pop culture, the Tomcat's roar lives on a testament to engineering audacity and the eternal allure of flying faster, higher, and fiercer than anything else in the sky.